What's going on my trainer club? Today we're gonna check out the Team Go Rocket Balloon for Pokemon Go Fest as well as some other leaks thanks to the Pokemoners. So welcome to the trainer club, here we go! Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, have you purchased your GoFest ticket or did you participate in my contest to win one because you don't have the means to? Whatever that is to you, I sure hope that you get a GoFest ticket. So if you haven't participated in my contest, you definitely want to check that out. And also, thetrainerclub.com to participate in any of my merchandise coming up for GoFest. So we have a pre-order going until Friday and then I'm gonna cut it off so I can already start the orders so I can get them to you well in advance of GoFest. So today what we're gonna check out is going to be everything to know about the leaks and as far as the game code goes in relation to the Team Go Rocket Balloon that may be coming for GoFest that was in the photo. So I don't think it's a May anymore. I think it's a definitive and it looks like we have a little bit more information. So big shout out to the Pokeminers. Really grateful for all their information and then we also have a little bit of information as far as Niantic Social that we're gonna cover as well and a couple more leaks. So let's get into everything right now. So the Pokeminers last night, before I was going to bed, I saw a tweet that said that they have a little bit more information in regards to how the Team Go Rocket Balloon might work. So I was really excited to share this information with you guys. So before we get into the updated one, we actually haven't covered the original one. So let's do that right now before we get into the bigger and more in-depth teardown. So it looks like there's going to be a balloon literally floating in the game that's going to be like, okay, Team Rocket Battle is coming in. And then you can actually click on the balloon. It does look like there may be a potential minimum level to be able to encounter this balloon. Like I said, it says it will spawn on the map and it can change in height so it can actually float similar to like a hot air balloon would in normal life and then eventually it will despawn if you do not get it. And so with that said, if it, the balloon is too high, there will actually be a shadow on the ground around you to be able to notify you that there is a balloon in your vicinity. And there can only be one balloon at a time because the code checks to make sure that it doesn't push two balloons at the same time. There are gonna be new characters added in for the balloon. So Jesse and James, I would be highly surprised if those two characters do not make an appearance as you saw in my thumbnail for this purpose because they are always flying around in the rocket balloon and the rocket logo has been added into the meta. So that is the initial in-depth analysis. Now let's look at the further in-depth analysis that was released and remined last night. So as just stated, the balloon will hover on the map. There is no specific tie down, meaning it's not hovering around any specific Pokestop or gym. So it looks like it's going to be free floating throughout the map. So utilizing that shadow, if it is too high, will be very important. And as far as the code goes, there is a specific call to be able to interact with this balloon. The balloon will maneuver around as we talk about and eventually wander off. There are also a few different ways that the rocket balloon may be able to encounter or come into your gameplay and spawn. So there is looking to be a cool down time from when one balloon comes in to when the next balloon may come in. There is a disable feature, so when the balloon is not relevant for the gameplay, they can take it out of the game and have it not spawn any longer. And as we did look about, only one balloon will spawn at a time, but it also looks like there is some type of implication in the game code that will make for an item to be able to be used in order to encounter this, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be a rocket radar, but there's not too much information loaded into the game code to be able to support any further type of investigation. And now the rocket invasions have been split into two differentiating factors. One is gonna be for the Pokestops, as we already know happen quite frequently, and number two is going to be for the rocket balloons. And in the game code, there has been a new type of grunt added in with the label of Grunt B, meaning that there's probably going to be grunts coming from the balloons because it's not gonna to be Giovanni. So we have the Pokestop grunts, we have the grunts from the balloons, and then we obviously have Giovanni, and we haven't seen Jesse or James yet. And there have been added character types to be a grunt B for the battle, female and male, that are indicating that there's probably going to be both female and males in the grunt battles for the balloons. So the regular grunts right now, as far as the game code goes, are associated with the type of Pokemon they spawn for their team, right? So if we're battling a water type Pokemon, there's these grunts that are associated with that. But the grunts from the balloons don't have any type of association as far as what team they're going for or what type of Pokemon they're having. So we'll see in the future weeks how that starts to unfold. But in the game code right now, there are two differentiating factors. We have a balloon grunt and then we have a grunt B. So. One of these could just be potentially, as the Pokemoner state, a placeholder for something that could be 
coming in the near future, how which we have mentioned a couple times in this video. So what do you think as far as that goes? I'm excited about this. So as far as what Pokemon has actually announced, Pokemon Go, they have stated that Sunday in Go Fest is gonna be unlike anything we have experienced in the game before. So obviously we saw the balloon, we see the rocket code getting added in. It could be a complete team Go Rocket takeover with balloons for the entire day, I don't know but it could also just be a very similar to GoFest day where the same spawns are existing, which is probably gonna be the case, but then there also might be Jesse and James at the end of the day where you fight it and you get a very specific Pokemon, or there could be grunts that bring in really cool shadow Pokemon that are gonna be very relevant. Who knows, but I'm excited for this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the new uncovered grunt battles from the balloons, including the balloon spawning, you seeing the shadows on the ground. So there's two other things I want to mention. Number one thing I want to mention is that the sponsored gifts are pulling from the same item pool that regular gifts are as far as the game code right now. And also there's gonna be a small tutorial about the sponsored gifts. So for me, I think that they might change that item pool up because if you're having a sponsored gift, meaning somebody's going to be paying money to get their insignia or their campaign into this gift so that we see the picture when we encounter it, it's gotta be a little bit more lucrative for us to be able to go after it. At least that's how I view it. And then finally, I have not covered this before, but we're gonna go over the Niantic social that is coming. According to the Pokemoners, it has been announced. Honestly, I have not been too up on this information as there's been so much Pokemon Go information for you guys to cover, I haven't even had the chance to. So Niantic Social is going to be including all three of their games, which is gonna be Ingress, Pokemon Go, and Wizards Unite as far as tracking these things. There has been a friend icon added in, probably signifying that you can make friends on Niantic Social. There is the ability to link your Apple account, which is a new feature for all of you Apple users, the Gmail, Facebook, and everything like that. And then also, it does look like you can see when your friendship started with this particular person. And then it also looks like your level of the games you played and the status are going to be displayed on your profile for all of your friends to see. And then it's going to state your last game played. So for all your friends out there, you can see if they've actually been playing Harry Potter Ingress or Pokemon Go last. There's going to be a unique color and it's going to sync all of your game statuses into your profile. So it's kind of like an all catch all type thing where it's like, hey, if I played Ingress, I played Pokemon Go and I played Wizards Unite, you guys can see all the progress I've made in each of those games. And then it also looks that through this Niantic social app, you can switch between the different games to play. So it looks like it may be a potential hub to go for from Pokemon Go to Wizards Unite to Ingress all in one type of app, but the Pokemoners do suggest that it's probably faster to do it through your own phone's operating system. And then it looks like there's gonna be a place to encourage you to play other games from Niantic, which is not a big surprise, but then also a cool feature in Pokemon Go that I thought would have been is gonna be to see how close your friends are from you in kilometers away, which, I mean, it's kind of like track your friends in iPhones or whatever you guys do use, where it's like, okay, my friend's only this far Far away from me which I think could probably be cool because if you have friends that are relatively close you know like hey this person's close to me so we can probably do a raid together or we could probably play Harry Potter together or whatever game that is that you're participating in and so by utilizing Niantic Social which I think is a really cool feature you can give a nickname to that friend and it looks like when you do give a nickname to that friend it's going to translate into all of the other games finally this update did uncover a lot of the sponsored gifts it's basically saying that sponsored gifts are an ability for Niantic to have other companies advertise to you in the game. So similar to how Starbucks has sponsored stops, there's now gonna be the availability for companies to do sponsored gifts, which hopefully that will mean that we have more lucrative things coming from those gifts in Pokemon Go. And as far as the raid invites go, it looks like everything is getting close, guys, very, very close. So there's been a service with notifications in there that's been added. And then also something that I think is pretty cool is that you'll be able to see a nearby friends list, which also includes information that includes avatar, gym name, location, etc. in this menu to invite friends. So guys, that's gonna do it. Appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you to all my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members, everybody who takes your support, subscription, and participation to the next level. Let me know in the comments what you think about all the Team Rocket stuff in the new leaks. I'm gonna see you guys out on the next video. Peace! I just want to take a moment and sincerely thank all of my Patreon members, everybody that has taken their subscription to the next level and chosen to support me on this platform. I greatly appreciate you guys as a growing channel and really trying to grow and improve as much as I possibly can. I really appreciate the extra support. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I cannot wait to connect with you soon and I appreciate you guys all for being a part of the Trainer Club. I will see you guys out on that next video.